Hello, my name is Amir Ibrahim Sotudeh, and I'm a specialist solutions architect here at Amazon Web Services. In this video, I want to show you how to launch your EC2 Windows instances up to 65% faster on AWS. First, we will take a look at the standard EC2 Windows launch process. Then we will see how configuring your custom Windows AMIs for faster launching reduces your instance launch time. And finally, I will show you how to configure your Windows AMIs for faster launching in AWS console and see the impact on your launch time. Every EC2 Windows instance must go through the standard Windows operating system launch steps. The SysPrep Generalize, SysPrep Specialize, Windows Out of the Box Experience, and several reboots involved in the standard process often take more than 15 minutes to complete. In the standard launch process, the only step that happens prior to the launch of an instance is the SysPrep Generalize, while all the other steps happen during the launch time. Now, let's take a look at a faster approach to launching EC2 Windows instances. When you configure your custom Windows AMIs for faster launching, EC2 creates temporary instances using your custom AMI and completes the SysPrep Specialize and Windows Out-of-the-Box Experience steps and reboots the instance as needed. It will then create a snapshot of the temporary instance called pre-provisioning snapshot and terminate the temporary instance. From this point on, any new instance launches of your custom Windows AMI will use the pre-provisioned snapshots, which will result in much faster launch time. Later in the demo, you can see how easy it is to configure the number of pre-provisioning snapshots you would like to keep on hand based on your expected launch frequency. EC2 will automatically replenish the pre-provisioned snapshots as you launch new instances. As you can see, in the standard launch process, we are only completing the SysPrep Generalize phase prior to the launch of the instance. When you configure your instances for faster launching, EC2 completes the SysPrep Specialize and Windows Out-of-the-Box Experience steps and creates a pre-provisioned snapshot of the instance which results in a much faster instance launch. Now let's jump into the AWS console and see it all in action. Okay, now that I have the EC2 console open, my plan for this demo is to start with the custom Windows AMI, which is not configured for faster launching, and then launch an instance from that AMI, and then later on configure it for faster launching, and then launch a new instance, so we can compare the launch time between the two scenarios. Um, in order to see the state of uh, image optimization for an AMI, if you check that specific AMI and scroll down in the details, you can see the image optimization state does not have any value. That means this AMI is not configured for faster launching. So I'll go ahead and launch the first instance by clicking launch instance from AMI. I will call this first instance, first instance with no AMI optimization. We can keep pretty much all the settings the same for the instance type. I'll choose T3 2x large. I am not going to choose a key pair. And for security, I'll use the default uh, security group in my VPC. And go ahead and launch the instance. Now, while this first instance is launching, I can now go back to EC2 go to AMIs and this time we want to enable this AMI for faster launching. To do that uh, from the actions menu or by right clicking on your AMI you can go to manage image optimization. This takes you to this page. Enabling the faster launching is as easy as checking this checkbox here that enables the AMI for faster launching. Now you have an option to set your anticipated image launch frequency. Based on the value you select here, EC2 will 
prepare that many pre-provisioned snapshots and keep them on hand so that when you launch new instances, those pre-provisioned snapshots would be used. For the purpose of this demo, we'll just go with the five launches per hour, which means we will have five pre-provisioning snapshots. Now you do have the option to choose a launch template for these pre-provisioning instances that will be launched. But again, for this demo, we'll keep it simple and save changes. Now, one thing that you will notice, if you check that AMI now and check the image optimization state, you will notice it is in enabling status. That means right now, pre-provisioning instances are going to be launched so that the pre-provisioning sna pre snapshots will be created, which we can check by going to the instances on EC2 console. You can see those instances have already launched this last one is the instance that we just created with no AMI optimization, but the other five are the ones that EC2 has automatically launched in order to create the pre-provisioning snapshots. Now, this, tape, this step might take a few minutes, so I'm going to pause the video and continue this when we have the pre-provisioned snapshots ready. Okay, so the pre-provisioning snapshots are now ready. As you can see, um, the pre-provisioning instances are in terminated states because EC2 has already completed the necessary steps, took the snapshots, and terminated those instances. So I will continue by in launching now a new instance, which from the AMI that now has the pre-provisioning snapshots in hand. Before I do that, I want to actually show you that those snapshots are available in the snapshots page. As you can see, now you have those five snapshots and in the description, you can see that fast launch has created them for this specific AMI. So now it's time to actually launch our new instance, which is going to use um, the image optimization feature and it's going to be configured for faster launching. So let's go to our AMI, select it, and launch the instance from the AMI. Now for the second instance, I will call it my second instance with image optimization enabled. Same settings as the old one, t3.2x large. And the rest of the configuration will keep it just like the first instance, so that the only difference is the image optimization being enabled when we launch the second instance. So now that we have the second instance launched as well, what we want to do is we want to check and compare the launch time between these two. In order to do that, for each one of the instances, you want to select the instance and capture the time that it was launched. Now, for my first instance, this is how you can see when exactly the instance was launched. And for capturing the timestamp of when the instance was actually ready, we can Right click on the instance, go to monitor and troubleshoot and get the system log. Now in the system log, we are looking for the timestamp of an event that says Windows is ready. In this case, you can see it happened at this timestamp for my first instance. So we will capture these two uh, timestamps, the launch time and the time we got the Windows is ready for each instance and compare them to be able to see what was the impact of enabling faster launching. So as you can see, a quick back of the envelope calculation shows over 52% faster launch time when I enabled my custom AMI and configured it for faster launching. One last thing I wanted to call out is um, in regards to the costs related to faster launching, if you think about it, we are basically doing some of the work that 
we would have done anyways during the launch time and we are pre-completing -pre those steps prior to launch which improves the launch time the only difference is the cost related to the snapshots and the storage cost related to that um, which for that also we can optimize that cost by getting to a more and more accurate expected launch frequency so we can minimize the time that we are keeping those storage and uh, pre-provisioned snapshots on hand i hope you enjoyed the video and happy faster launching